Yes, people, what's going on? You are watching a clip from the club podcast. If you want to find the full episodes, head over to Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You can get all of them there. Leave us a five-star review as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Let's we'll come. start off with Mason Mount. <sighs> What's Rory 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 is total total legacy or or just current form. Mason Mount, Mason Mount is such an interesting one to talk about being overrated and underrated because he is definitely oh. one of of those two things by everyone. So there are there oh, are yeah, so yeah. many people, particularly online Chelsea fans, who just hate him. They hate him and they they tell you he's the worst player to ever played. So very underrated. And then what you get <laughs> is a, is some Chelsea fans, particularly those who go to the games. Who will tell you that he should be captain? Mm. The the truth is none of those two things are true. Oh, you've you got to say fence. one. You've got to say one. No, I'm not saying. I think. I think, I think overall, overrated? overall, I think he's underrated. I think more people mm. dislike him. I than... think it flips with Mason Mount. I think he's gone from being overrated to being underrated now. I, I think he's mean. massively overrated. I don't think he does anything to a very high level. I think his his energy is good. Oh. I, I I'm not I'm not going I mean, to that compare. That he definitely does. I'm not going to compare him to Deli Ali, but Deli Ali. Obviously, it's a work rate thing with him, but he's a midfielder that wasn't quite wasn't quite good enough on the ball to play deep. Obviously, he's a good goal scorer, but without Harry Kane, he didn't have that link-up play. Mason Mount, for me, isn't quite good enough to play as a deep-lying midfielder. Isn't quite technically gifted enough to be a number 10. I think he might get caught in between. No, I think he is a deep-lying midfielder. I, just don't think that, I don't think that Chelsea have ever had a situation where we have enough good attacking players. Like, basically... Or controlling the tempo of midfield. I think, I, think, midfield. I think his best position would be as a slightly deeper than he's played. What, because, what Kovacic, Kovacic yeah, role. but the, the problem is, Chelsea have to play him as, like, one of the front three because we've got bloody Kai Havertz. Yeah, because he's, he's not, better no, but, than... But he's not good enough either. He's not as good as he's Kovacic. Better, Kovacic. No, he's better than Pulisic. Okay. Well, that's I, not... I, I think he's, so he's currently... Got, underrated. He's under, currently playing. He's under underrated. and over. Yeah. Under, under, over. Under, right? under, over. Next one. I think Rory will have a very simple and easy answer for this one. Brendan Rodgers. Chronically overrated. <laughs> like painfully overrated. I have no idea. People link... By me. who though? By every... By, by, by... Not a Particularly, moment. not necessarily people in our world of, of journalism, if that's what we are, but actual established journos. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking the Ollie Holtz of this world and people like I proper journos. I think he's massively underrated. Oh, yeah. We and you don't I know, agree I on know. Work, yeah. I, I think that the mixture of he has a very nice uh, brand of football. I know it's gone a little bit sour th this uh, this season with Leicester. Back to back fifth finishes with that Leicester side with the money that we all just agreed. Recruiting as well. you know, they, hang on, hang exactly. on. Lee, and, you can't present but, something. But the big you thing, can't can I at least finish the, the big thing. The big thing for me, for, for a, a side like Leicester City, and I know what it feels like. They won an FA Cup. Yes, yeah, that's you. That is, and they did yeah. it on their terms. And they, they, beat they, they didn't beat, there. you know, Watford. No, no, they, they beat, beat Chelsea on, on their on their own. Do you know terms. why that happened though? He's a top manager for doing that. He is. No, no, but we there are plenty. There are plenty of examples of yeah. of distinctly average managers, bad managers, in fact, having moments of success. Like mm. earlier on today, you were telling me that getting to a final is successful. Mm. Avram Grant is probably the worst manager Chelsea have yeah. ever had, and he took Chelsea to a Europe. Rogers went to Celtic and won. Three, three, three. So did three. Gerard. He didn't know. He won no, one no, season. No, but Gerard went up there. And I, I know Scotland had five wins, but no, the, Celtic won a treble back to back to back. I think Rogers is currently. I think yeah. I think he's overrated. So overrated because he gets linked he gets to linked silly to jobs. Man United's job. Yeah, yeah. No, Man like United is crazy. Arsenal. I, he was I, linked to Arsenal when before Arteta came in. He's never that. I think. Quality. I think he's let. He's reached his ceiling. Now. Yeah. I think he's a Spurs manager. Oh, oh no, God. Tottenham are massive That's the top club. of his level. So he we've got Liverpool. <laughs> so we've got Adam over, Rory over, Boovy, you are? Under. Under. Uh, okay. okay, last one. This is not a person, You're not a player. A this, is, this is an experience or a match-going experience. Sitting behind the goal. Ooh. It's the best place to sit. I'm assuming you mean quite low down here. Yeah, like behind the goal. Oh, I'm yeah, you can't have goal, your view restricted. You can't have your view impaired by the net. Like, you can't literally be behind. And, and you've got pet to check. You're going away, mate. Out of the way. Like, you can't have that. But, I mean, I, I've sat behind a goal more than I've sat anywhere else. I've I've enjoyed... My my seat is tier two of the Stratford, and I don't think I'd change that. But I do enjoy being lower down sometimes, especially at aways. I think aways mm. behind the goal, mm. away games, standing up. That for Chelsea me... Chelsea is, always give it, a beautiful away. I think it's, I think it's underrated. Because people at aways mm. don't always go to the front because they think, mm. oh, 
going to be able to yeah. shirt turn that down. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's probably underrated. Yeah. No, I'd say I, I think the best place to sit in a football stadium because generally speaking, I'm in a football stadium for the atmosphere, and I know that I know that that isn't necessarily as raucous as I believe it should be, but the best atmosphere in most football stadiums is behind the goal. Well, plus if you there. see a world you go in, that's the big thing. Obviously, you're gambling because 50% of the time it could be a lot. You can end up, you can end up, it could be against you. You can end up, yeah. yeah. Well, not only that, it's quite dangerous. Were you there for Iniesta, the worldie we behind the goal? Was at the other end to me? I was and when, Ardell, and when I was goals are at the other end, yeah, Michael Essien like scored a volley that, that same yeah. end, but it was in front of the Barcelona fans rather than the Chelsea end. But I, I remember going to Old Trafford and I was in, I was behind the goal, but it was an England game. England played Wales at Old Trafford. Craig Bellamy hit me in the face with a ball. You always got to be careful of that. <laughs> Came up the stairs, smashed my sunglasses. <laughs> I'd never forgive him for that, Bellamy. Like, people don't like him for many I've reasons. I've hated I don't like Craig him for Bellamy for so long. I now love him. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Bellamy, that should be a topic. Underrated player. What a player. Okay, okay so... Excellent player, but... Under? Underrated, under. I think is Underrated, All yeah. three. Overrated or underrated's back again. Our first overrated or underrated is Philip Foden. I think he's. I think he's mm. judged about accurately. I don't think he's overrated. Or under, people think he's a fantastic footballer. Is he underrated by his managers? It, it, something's happened with. I think he's had a fight with Pep Guardiola behind the scenes. I, I don't mean fisty. I don't mean fisty. Because Southgate right? definitely under, underrated. Agreement. I think it's very specific for maybe. Uh, yeah, you obviously just yeah amended that point. It, it, I think you're probably right. There's something. In, I think the attitude is, is the better way of saying. It. I think there's been a, a shift in attitude. I don't know if that's down to confidence. It could just be confidence. He's done. A, he's played a lot of football. A bit like Wayne Rooney when he was very young as well. He played a lot of football and then you wake up and you're still 22 and you've achieved almost everything in the game. Oh, you know, almost everything in the game. You've won four Premier Leagues in five years. But crucially, you know, how do you reinvent yourself? He's been he, played out of position, lad. You, you say he's played every... Crucially, when also when you've needed him, of late, and by of late, I mean over the last, say, six weeks, he hasn't played. No, you're right, you're right. And that's weird because he's... He, he, you, yeah. you look at certain City games, you think, do you know what you could do with here? You could mm. really do with Phil Foden. Yeah. The guy sitting on your bench. And for me, I want him in midfield, popping, up, popping balls around, one, one, two, one. He'd play against PSG in the Champions League semi final. I don't know if you remember what There could be the some snow. stuff we don't know he, about. He was playing in midfield well. and he was popping the ball around, spraying things first time. He's a midfielder, lads. He's been play, asked to play as a winger. He's been play, asked to play as a right winger. This You know, cut inside as a right, right is winger. Is he overrated or underrated? What? Underrated. <laughs> I, think, I think people think he's, I think people get him spot on. I don't think he's either. You're not allowed to do this, bro. Okay, he's <laughs> he's accurately rated. It's got to be up or down by 1% at least. Okay, by 1%, he's overrated <laughs> for the sake of the game. He's definitely, I think he's underrated, especially by oh. his managers. Right, yeah, yeah. this oh. one, Frank Lampard, but as a manager, overrated or underrated? <sighs> overrated. Uh, this guy's, ro- this guy's Rotherham written all I over. I don't think you understand the definition of the word overrated if you think he's overrated. Who on earth rates him? Um, Apart from oh, me. Uh, well, the fact Everton owners. gave him a job. Yeah. That was enough for it. I shouldn't have got that job. No, no, but thing. that's as of today. He was given an Everton well, job as a year ago. Today, Roman Abramovich. Yeah. No, but that was that was <laughs> three Darby years ago. Owner. That was three years ago. <laughs> yeah. so as Bill of Ken today, Wright. as of today, the only person who who makes a case for him in the world that I've heard is me. Yeah, no, no. I bet you he walks into another job. Yeah, he, he'll he be the manager of Lithuania. Easy. <laughs> no, he will be. No, no he, he won't walk hey, into a Premier League job. There's a guy. There's an English manager, manager called Gary Johnson. I right, used to manage Yeovil. He actually managed the Latvian national side. This is Frank Lampard. He'll be managing Latvia. No, that's Frank, not, there's nothing Frank wrong Lampard with that. Frank Lampard from now wouldn't take. Uh, I don't think he would take a Championship job. He, he wouldn't get one. No, no. <laughs> yeah, he he would, Coventry yeah. wouldn't give him a job. Of course, they're bottom of the league. They wouldn't give him one. Okay, so with that in mind, how on earth do you Mind say that he's overrated? City. Okay, with that in mind, how on earth do you say he's overrated? Because he shouldn't have got the Everton job in the first place. Okay, so so if we were having this conversation a year ago, he was overrated. Yeah. As of today, you've just said he wouldn't get but a job. Why are you so but we can't say he's underrated. That, 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 no, no, I just don't think that Boovey understands the words. <laughs> overrated and underrated. So, so what, you say so he's overrated okay, because so of something that So I have to say he's underrated now. That, okay, he's underrated then, lads. He's underrated. I still think, I think he's, he's is underrated. He not, is he not just another one that is, apart from me, yeah. who idolises the man? Of course, of course. Nobody rates him, so I don't see how he's overrated. So I'll just do what you did for the previous one. He's one percent overrated. Then he's not. He's not fair, that bad. Fair, that's that fine. Bad. But you that's start talking about say. Latvia. That was weird. Well, you could. You could well, po- uh, see Mate, you start talking Poland. about Gary Johnson at Lovell. It was weird. It was weird. I don't I'm, know saying, what I'm saying average English managers managing terrible sides like Gary, uh, Frank Lampard will do in the future. <laughs> Who's next? So you didn't say was he overrated? Or underrated? <laughs> he's under. He's underrated. You don't see the brilliance. All right, number three. This is a good one for you. <laughs> Because you follow England as well. Drums in the stadium, overrated or underrated? Do you know what, Adam? You're going to completely, you're going to be surprised what I'm going to say here. I'm so concerned about the over sanitization of Premier League football stadiums. And in the past, if you'd asked me this question 
certainly a decade ago, but even even more recently, I would have said, no, organic atmospheres, that's what it's about in this country. We sing when things are good and we moan when things are bad. But it's so sterile now. I think we need something. And if you look at what's gone on at Celtic, if you look at what's gone on at Glasgow Rangers, if you look at what's gone on at Arsenal, even with that Ashburton army, I think it's kind of needed. And therefore, maybe it's underrated. I agree, yeah, 100%. Everything you just said in terms of the, the, the sterilization of football, we're approaching a very weird part of football where you almost can't stand up to celebrate no, goals. Can't. It's almost approaching that. It's almost approaching an e-ticket that lets you in the stadium if you're a good enough person to no, get in the city. It's, 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 not, it's not approaching that. I, I well, only have an e-ticket. Yeah, exactly. I miss having a season. And one day it will be like, well, this is Adam McCullough. Should we let him in the stadium? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's getting, it will get to that point. And it, That's it, why you have two names. Grims. 